Okay guys, let's say that you have a list of emails that you'd like to validate because before like reaching out, right? Otherwise, like, I mean, of course, I suppose that you already filter the ones that are most relevant to you, like, but some of them are really crazy ones. Like, look at this email, like, it's crazy. So uh, let's just copy them on a text file. So anyway, these are all publicly available emails, like they are uh, on the web, so emails uh, to validate uh, and the tutorial is only for educational purposes so so what do we do we open super email validator download link in the description then we click on import txt then you import the email list validates that you just created okay you already found the emails well one thing if you didn't find the email okay if you didn't find the emails that um, if, if it throws you an error saying, hey, the emails are not working, right? Uh, I cannot identify there is a syntax problem. Uh, shut down, uh, like you need to make an exception to the antivirus, perhaps. Because this stuff like works opening port 25, right? Port 25 is like a non-SSL, uh, no-SSL uh, email SMTP. Port, okay so to send emails outside but in this case we're just gonna send an L hello it's like a ping basically to a mail server and we're gonna see the response okay before actually sending the actual email right uh, so this everything this tool does but like working with ports and stuff like that maybe the antivirus could go crazy so if you had that problem uh, either shut it down for 10 minutes, but I wouldn't suggest that or like simply add an exception uh, to this app uh, Yes, uh, what else I need to say? Yeah, so basically you just click on start uh, It's gonna verify all the emails you, you can see that basically some of them are gonna bounce So they're gonna bounce back meaning that uh, like uh, they are not going to be delivered come back uh, invalid means that maybe the domain doesn't even answer so uh, domain is expired the business failed or whatever so um, this is another thing and uh, what else do we have it's going to verify them ah yes one trick if a port 25 is not open like if you see like a red x here uh, just connect with your phone uh, the phone needs to have uh, like all ports open basically for it to work your mobile phone um, hotspot so hotspot can solve this this issue it can make it become green okay so we can wait for the results Guys, I'm just gonna stop the process one second because we don't. I'm not really <laughs> in the need of these emails. But uh, you can see what's what's gonna happen after you do that. Okay, let's say anyway the um, the effect of clicking the stop button is the same. So you're gonna see you're gonna need to save the results. Say results onto the desktop as a CSV, and you're gonna find a CSV here which inside has inside has this kind of structure then you would just need to filter and then see verification uh, find only the ones that are valid okay so valid and safe and filter this item only so these are the only email you can reach out to then always check like if they uh, they have they are normal emails. Let's say I mean they could be strange stuff. So and uh, Let's say to uh, also check their businesses if you're interested or whatever and, uh, Anyway, the tutorial is for educational purposes. So uh, All right. Thank you for the for watching and I see you in the next one